from Indy's streaming news leader. This is a WRTV update. I'm WRTV's Caitlin Kendall. Here's a look at your latest headlines now. Metro Police are investigating a deadly shooting on the city's east side. Officers were called to a home near Heiner Lane and Shadeland Avenue around 1245 this morning. Investigators found a man dead from gunshot wounds inside of a home. Authorities believe that it was a targeted attack and detectives are asking for anyone who might have seen something or has doorbell camera video to come forward. This morning, state transportation officials are looking for feedback from community members as part of their Propel US 31 study. The initiative is looking at 180 miles of that highway between Hamilton County and northern Indiana. And one area that the state is looking to improve is in Tipton County. NDOT will have in-person meetings for communities impacted by road construction in the coming days and weeks. We have the link to study in this story on our website at WRTV.com. A private school in Indianapolis is showing that its students that it can have fun and learn without the use of screens. At the Oaks Academy, instead of using Chromebooks and computers like most schools, students are using pen and paper and carrying notebooks throughout the day. School leaders say that too much screen time has become detrimental to students' learning and mental health. And during the month of November, the Oaks Academy is conducting the One Million Minutes Challenge for the entire school. And their goal is to go tech-free, have students spend the time doing things like reading or even art with their parents. Todd? And rain chances will increase as the day goes on. We should be dry through the noon hour and then as we work our way into the afternoon, some spotty showers develop, but really after 4 p.m. That's when we get into the more widespread rain. Once the rain starts in your neighborhood, it's going to be with us throughout the entire evening. Here we are at 7 o'clock and you see the widespread rain could be even heavy at times uh, throughout the evening hours. And then as we transition into the 11 o'clock hour, still fairly widespread overnight. The steady rain moves out, but scattered showers will be with us even into Thursday morning's commute and then even into Thursday afternoon, a few hit or miss showers, very showery day for us off and on uh, throughout the day tomorrow. But today's when the bulk of the rainfall will fall later this afternoon and this evening. Everybody sees about a half an inch to an inch of rainfall. Some areas though here in southern portions of the state could pick up about one to two inches of rainfall before we wrap things up.